Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Robel, and today I'm going to show you a simple process with the Force Cut 42i on how to go in and attach inside to the torch trigger to run a manual torch on your CNC table. It's a very simple process. It takes about five minutes, and uh, we'll pull the cover. I'll show you which wires to attach, and those will go to your signal generator on your CNC table. So let's get started. With the cover pulled, you'll see that we have an air water separator and an automatic air regulator for this unit. A look at the other side of the unit reveals the high quality electronics. What I'm doing here is locating pins 1 and 2. I'm following these pins inside and locating their wires. I've traced those back to the circuit board and simply what I'll do here is just disconnect it and wire one at a time. Now we're disconnected from the board. I've made my first cut and soldering in the CNC controller leads. After I've soldered the other one in, I've just went ahead and zip tied things and getting everything tied up. I'll plug this back into the board and put the cover back on. Covers back installed. I've run the two torch trigger leads out through the louvers and I've hooked it up to the Torchmate signal generator. That's all there is to this process. Now we're set up and ready to cut. This process is only going to be required for some of the first models. So if you happen to get one of the first models, you see how easy it is to do and hook it up to your signal generator. It's not really a big deal. On the further models, we'll have the CNC port on the back, so it'll just be a simple, quick disconnect um, that you'll tie into for your signal generator. So thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Robel, and I'll catch you here next time.